We've all been there, standing in front of the fridge, holding a carton of milk that's a few days past its expiration date, wondering if taking a sip is a gamble worth taking. Expiration dates seem like a clear-cut rule. Past the date, the food is bad. But what if that's not entirely true? What if expiration dates are more about guidelines than strict deadlines? Let's unravel the mystery behind expiration dates and find out what they really mean, right here on History of Simple Things. First things first, expiration dates are not as standardized as most people assume. In fact, in many countries, including the United States, there are no strict federal regulations dictating how food companies should determine these dates. Instead, manufacturers choose them based on factors like taste, texture, and peak quality rather than actual safety. You've probably seen labels that say things like best buy, sell by, use by, or expires on. But what do these actually mean? Best Buy is more of a suggestion than a rule. It tells you when the product is at its highest quality. Sell by is a guideline for stores, telling them when to remove items from shelves. But that doesn't necessarily mean the food is bad after that. Use by is the closest thing to an actual expiration date, but even that doesn't always mean immediate spoilage. You might be wondering, how do manufacturers even come up with these dates? Most companies conduct taste tests, storage studies, and laboratory analyses to estimate when a product will start losing its freshness. However, these tests are often conservative, meaning the actual food might last much longer than the printed date suggests. The goal isn't just safety. It's also about keeping customers happy with peak quality products. Another factor influencing these dates is liability. Companies don't want to be sued over foodborne illnesses, so they play it safe. This means that many foods, especially shelf-stable items like canned goods or dry pasta, are still completely fine long after their printed dates. Here's the kicker. Just because something is past its expiration date doesn't automatically mean it's unsafe to eat. Food spoilage is a gradual process, and most products have a pretty wide margin of safety beyond their expiration date. Your senses, sight, smell, and taste are usually much better indicators of whether food is still good than the numbers printed on the package. For example, milk that's a couple of days past its date might still be perfectly fine especially if it's been kept cold. Eggs, when stored properly, can last weeks beyond their sell-by date. Even meat, if stored in a freezer, can remain safe for months, regardless of the expiration date on the label. Of course, there are exceptions. Perishable items like raw poultry, seafood, and certain dairy products do have a higher risk of bacterial growth, especially if they haven't been stored properly. But even then, food poisoning is more often caused by improper handling than eating something a few days past its date. The way food is packaged also plays a big role in how long it actually lasts. Vacuum-sealed meats, for instance, can stay fresh much longer than meats exposed to air. The same goes for things like vacuum-packed cheese or airtight containers for snacks. Even without added preservatives, Modern food packaging does a lot to extend shelf life. Speaking of preservatives, they're another major reason why many foods last longer than their labels suggest. Salt, sugar, vinegar, and certain chemicals are often used to slow down bacterial growth and oxidation, which means products like canned soups, pickled vegetables, and sugary snacks can last for years without going bad. One of the biggest issues with strict expiration dates is food waste. Studies show that millions of tons of perfectly good food are thrown away each year simply because people assume the printed date means the food is unsafe. 
Supermarkets also toss out huge quantities of items that are still edible just because they've reached their sell-by dates. In reality, a lot of this food could still be eaten or donated. Some grocery stores and food banks have started to combat this waste by selling or redistributing expired products that are still perfectly fine. In fact, several countries are pushing for better labeling systems that differentiate between quality dates and safety dates to prevent unnecessary waste. Because expiration dates are often misunderstood, governments and organizations are pushing for clearer labeling systems. Some countries, like the United Kingdom and Japan, have already made changes to reduce food waste. Instead of using vague terms like best buy or sell by, some manufacturers now use use by only for products where safety is a real concern, like raw meat or dairy. For other items, they use best before which simply indicates peak quality rather than safety. In the U.S., there have been discussions about standardizing food date labeling, but progress has been slow. Many experts argue that clearer labels, such as safe to eat until for perishable foods and best quality before for non-perishables, could help reduce the massive amount of food that gets tossed unnecessarily. Until then, it's up to consumers to educate themselves and make informed decisions. If expiration dates aren't the final word on food safety, what is? Your senses. Before tossing something just because it's past the date, do a quick check. Smell. If something smells off, sour, or just wrong, don't risk it. Appearance. Mold discoloration, or a slimy texture are clear signs of spoilage. Taste. If it looks and smells fine but still tastes weird, it's better to be safe than sorry. For dairy products like milk or yogurt, give them a sniff and a small taste before deciding. Hard cheeses can sometimes develop a little mold on the surface, but you can often just cut it off. Dry goods like rice, pasta, and cereal rarely go bad unless they've been exposed to moisture or pests. So, should you completely ignore expiration dates? Not necessarily. They're still useful for knowing when a product is at its best, and they can serve as a rough guideline for food safety. But they shouldn't be treated as a strict deadline. Learning to trust your senses and understanding how food actually spoils can save you money and prevent unnecessary waste. In the end, expiration dates are more about quality than safety. The next time you're about to throw something away, just because of the date printed on it, take a second look. You might just save yourself a trip to the grocery store and do the planet a favor in the process. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.